Get the fuck out of my face now! Ooh, that was, now! That was very rude of you. Get the fuck out of my face! Do you want to go to jail? Sir, ma'am, I don't really know what to call you. No You're no fucking way. done, There's man. No I'm done. Get the fucking police, you just insulted me. Well, listen here, pal. I mean, ha, you are gonna go to jail. And I could fucking tell the police to get you. I'm vegan, so don't say that. Listen. You told me he, man. You really get the fuck out of my way right now. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. You do not have a release. I will sue you. You're gonna sue him? Don't sue him, man, because we're trying to just. I don't have a. You do not have a release. If you fucking post this, I will destroy you. I will destroy you. I will destroy you. Just keep going on. I got my crew with me now. I got my crew. Yeah! Yeah! What's up? Woo! Who won? Who's next? <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Four fate four. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, doke party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken folks. What are we talking about today, folks? <laughs> well, it's the day after the debate, the long anticipated debate between the prosecutor and the felon. Uh huh. So, yep, I woke up today. I got people in my inbox, DM me, talk about Trump lost the debate. Okay. If that's what you want to say. Fine. You want to say that? No problem. Now, I believe Trump missed a lot of opportunities to, uh, embarrass Harris, but I think she did it on herself. All right. It was kind of hard for Trump to, uh, debate three versus one. All right. So we had the moderators. We already knew the moderators was going to do this. You know, they, Miss Harris needs help. Miss Harris cannot do this by herself. When she did an interview on CNN with Dana Bash, she had to bring emotional support. She needs help. Even in the debate, she was treated with kids' glove because she's a woman of Indian descent. She cannot handle pressure. She needs emotional support. Now, off the back, they asked her the first question. Is America better off these last four years? And she says this. So I was raised as a middle-class kid. And I am actually the only person on this stage who has a plan that is about lifting up the middle class and working people of America. I believe in the ambition, the aspirations, the dreams of the American people. And that is why I imagine and have actually a plan to build what I call an opportunity economy. Because here's the thing. We know that we have a, a shortage of, of homes and housing. And the cost of housing is too expensive for far too many people. We know that young families need support to raise their children, and I intend on extending a tax cut for those families of $6,000, which is the largest child tax credit that we have given in a long time, so that those young families can afford to buy a crib, buy a car seat, buy clothes for their children. Yeah, you see how she just walked around the whole question? She knows if she had answered yes, that American folks are better off under her and Biden's economic plan should have been roasted by Trump. If she had said no, same thing. So she avoided the whole question and just walked around and nobody gave no pushback. Now, they asked Trump a question and here he goes. Is there anything you regret about what you did on that day? You just said a thing that isn't covered Peacefully and patriotically, I said, during my speech, not later on. You were the president. You were watching it unfold on television. It's a very simple question as we move forward toward another election. Is there anything you regret about what you did on that day? Yes, sir. I had nothing to do with that other than they asked me to make a speech. Do you have any regrets? 
D, are you sure? A pushback after pushback. Anytime Trump opened his mouth, they were sack checking him as if though that was their job. That's not your job. Let the candidates do that and let us judge from there. But the moderators are now part of the story. So again, if you want to say that Harris mopped the floor, hey, three versus one. Okay. <laughs> it has so many, so many opportunities that the people see that she didn't answer no questions. President Biden imposed tough new asylum restrictions. We know the numbers since then have dropped significantly. But my question to you tonight is why did the administration wait until six months before the election to act? And would you have done anything differently from President Biden on this? So I'm the only person on this stage who has prosecuted transnational criminal organizations for the trafficking of guns, drugs, and human beings. And let me say that the United States Congress, including some of the most conservative members of the United States Senate, came up with a border security bill, which I supported. She flip-flop here, she flip-flop there. No clarification. The moderators did no pushback. They treat her with kid glove because she's a retard. Vice President Harris, in your last run for president, you said you wanted to ban fracking. Now you don't. You wanted mandatory government buyback programs for assault weapons. Now your campaign says you don't. You supported decriminalizing border crossings. Now you're taking a harder line. I know you say that your values have not changed. So then why have so many of your policy positions changed? So my values have not changed, and I'm going to discuss every one of the, at least every point that you've made. But in particular, let's talk about fracking because we're here in Pennsylvania. I made that very clear in 2020. I will not ban fracking. I have not banned fracking as Vice President of the United States. And in fact, I was the tie-breaking vote on the Inflation Reduction Act, which opened new leases for fracking. Now here's another one. Mr. Trump will talk about immigration and the incident was going on in Springfield, Ohio. He says this. In Springfield... They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country. And it's a shame. Now, Mr. David here already had the rebuttal. He already fact-checked it, and he says this. I just want to clarify here, you bring up Springfield, uh, Ohio, and, and ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told us there have been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. Well, All I've this, seen people on television. Let me just say here, this is the... the people on television say my dog was taken and used for food. So maybe he said that, and maybe that's a good yeah. thing to say for a city manager. I'm not taking this from but television. But the people I'm on television the saying their dog was eaten by the people that went there. Again, the Springfield city manager says there's no evidence of that. Vice we'll President Harris, out. I'll let you respond to the rest of what you've heard. <laughs> you talk about extreme. <laughs> wow, what a coincidence. You already spoke to the mayor of Springfield and already fact-checked him already because you knew he was going to bring that up. And you already had that already, quote, ready to go. There was a neighbor... Uh, that uh, was missing her cat. She couldn't find her cat. One day she came home from work. As soon as she stepped out of her car, looked towards a neighbor's house where Haitians lived uh, and saw her cat hanging from a branch like you do like a deer when you're, when you're field dressing or butchering. Uh, and they were carving, it, carving the cat up to eat. Uh, they've been doing this to dogs. They've been doing it at uh, Snyder Park with the ducks and the geese. This is, this is Harris and Biden's, um, they flew these people in to Ohio. There are so many stories I hear about pets missing in Ohio and you coming out trying to make Donald Trump look like he's a weirdo by bringing that up, right? That was your whole job. But meanwhile, Kamala didn't have to say nothing. She just sitting in the back and giggling with this smirk on her face. When anytime Trump was talking, she got a silly smirk on her face. You know she wanted to cackle. You know she wanted to do that. But she tried to keep it in. <laughs> you talk about extreme. <laughs> right. And she was doing this interruption, trying to get under his skin. And he finally came out and said this. She was big on defund the police. In Minnesota, she went out. Wait a minute. I'm talking now. If you don't mind, please. Does that sound familiar? 
Why? She went out. <laughs> yeah, and the look on her face was priceless. Now, you can still believe that Trump lost the debate, but CNN had a poll last night, and let's take a look. The economy here, uh, who, would you, who would better handle the economy is what we ask. Going into the debate, before the debate, 37% said Harris, 53% Trump. After the debate, again, margin of error stuff here, but numerically she lost a little ground. 35% said so after the debate that she would better handle the economy. 55% said Trump, and we know that is one of his strongest suits across the polling in this election. And he seemed to hang on to that piece in this debate tonight, according to our poll of debate watchers. Yeah, his lead was 16 points on the economy, and it rose to 20. Kamala lost two points. <laughs> so there's no game. All right. Now, I got to mention this before I go. Very funny here. Mr. Biden and Kamala go to New York for the 9-11 ceremony. Trump shows up. <laughs> now, not only that, Mr. Biden was spotted wearing a MAGA hat. <laughs> Oh, my God, you can't make this shit up. Hilarious. Mr. Biden comes up and don't know where he's at. Shows up for a ceremony and he's wearing a hat that says MAGA on there. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Anyway, guys, if you got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell Kamala I said hi. <laughs> you go, girl. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you liberals, get your ass off my lawn.